welcome to pushmowerpair.com. Today we're going to show you how to fix one of the many mower mishaps we come across, uh, either from people emailing us or mowers that we're repairing. Uh, this one is when someone's threaded a bolt. Uh, this happens a lot on the carburetor bolts on Briggs and Stratton engines. The tools you'll need for this video is a tap and die set and possibly a helicoil set. And you'll probably need a drill bit to drill out the thread that's wrecked. Okay, so today we're going to demonstrate on an older engine, but this same thing can happen on these newer 3.75 horsepower Briggs engines and the newer ones after these. So here's our old engine. And what people do is they get their big socket wrench. When they come to tighten up this carburetor bolt, and they turn it really hard, it gets really stiff, and they keep going until it just spins. And when it just spins and doesn't tighten, it means they've threaded the bolt. Like this one, spin it no matter how many times it just doesn't tighten. What happens that can be worse is the mounting bolt here even can completely snap, and that's really hard to fix. Okay, in order to repair this, you'll need a thread repair kit or a helicoil set. As you can see, we've got one here. And what you'll need to do is get a drill bit that fits the appropriate helicoil you're going to put in. And for us, we picked this size. And we've picked this size because it fits the original bolt. And you can check just by winding it on. There you go. So then we're going to drill out the hole. So you'll need to get your tap of the appropriate size and line it up. And you want to do it as horizontally as you can. Because if you do it on an angle or with any twists, your thread will be skewed and it won't work. You want to go about a full turn and then a half turn back. This clears the thread. So you just want to keep doing that about a full turn and a half turn back. Okay, now you can see we've done our tapping and the thread's there, it's freshly done. You can test it if you want by putting your tap in. You should be able to spin it with your hand as it goes through. So you want to grab your helicoil. You'll see it's got a tab there. You want to stick it in like this so it catches on the tab and then wind it in. Now you can see the helicoil's in. The tab on the helicoil is made so it should pop off when you put the bolt through. Sometimes they don't, you might need to help them come off with some pliers or tin snips, but hopefully that's not the case for you. Once your helicoil's in, or you've repaired your thread, wherever it may be, you can then put your bolt in, and you should be able to bolt it back up. Hopefully this time you don't thread it, and you've learned your lesson. Yeah, we did it firm but not too tight. It's secure and fixed and would work. Uh, we've repaired the thread on the carburetor here, but this applies to any thread on the lawnmower you can repair with a helicopter. 